Bowser kids are cool, I guess, but I was like, oh, come on. Like, didn't, uh, what was it, DS had King Boo, I think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. and Rob Yeah. Was playable. Uh, I, like, it's like Smash Brothers was like, oh, here's all the characters. I'm like, that's cool. It was like, why can't, Mario Kart, can you do that? You're coming over, we're going to do the video for Laser Riders. Okay, okay, so I'm going to do a video for Laser Riders. Mm -hmm. Okay. check on the rice. All right, and once again, Joe, nicest guy in the world. Yeah, Joe is the nicest guy in the world. It's it's been paid advertisements. Wow, look at these pictures. They look so aged now. It's been like an hour. <laughs> there's a, there's well, I guess they did this in the eighties as well. <laughs> With the same people. <laughs> yeah. uh, turn the Wii U back on. Oh, why? Hello. We Maybe. have no, we have no well, signal going out. Are we going back to? Are we going to main CD? Yeah, I'm putting the Xbox up back there. You guys are board gaming, but I don't want the computer, the monitor to screw up. Oh, okay. Here, you slide out, and then we're going to the main computer. There we hey. go. There's everybody. What's up? Let's. Let's do that. And you guys will get in. I'm gonna pull up the video for our next sponsor. Yeah, we we had a very special video. Uh, we're live, right? Yeah, we are live. <laughs> Good. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, we have a very special video for our next one. Uh, it is Laser Riders, which is a brand new board game. We're actually gonna play it live. It's, so, it's so brand new, it isn't actually out yet. It's not out yet. It kickstarted, ended yesterday. Yesterday, so. <laughs> so is this make it free alpha? It, it's, yeah, it is a print and play version of the game. I don't know if this is, would this be free alpha, the beta? I don't know. I, I don't know. Betamax. This is a Betamax game. Uh, so this is an Alpha 5 game. I mean, Betamax I, 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 I. Uh, <laughs> Laser Riders. Oh, Bill Hader now, right? There we go. Yeah. Why is this not? Check. Okay. No. You're blocking my face. <laughs> so are we, are we blocking faces on like live stream? Uh, so we're gonna show the trailer, and hopefully that will teach us how to play because we don't know. This how to is play. that. This is the how to play. Yeah, video. this is particularly the how to play video, not just the trailer. Right. So. And then we're gonna play it live, uh, and hopefully we can uh, I don't know why tie up the scores again. I don't know why this isn't monitor capture. This is a fast, right? fun, easy to learn, fast. trackless. Fast and fun. I'm having problems getting the video streamed. Oh, we have to be uh, entertaining. Laser Riders was created by uh, Cardboard Fortress, which is a fantastic group of guys. They didn't yes. do Cones yeah. of Dunshire, did they? They did no. not do Cones no. of Dunshire. No. They did they do um, Resistor. Resistor. Yes. Oh. Resistor. I actually know Resistor. Resistor <laughs> underscore. Uh, it, it is a very good game. It's a fantastic game. We actually had them on the podcast uh, probably over a year ago at this point. Something like that. There we go. Yeah, so. This will work. So here, check, check out this. The, the With light, game. push your luck, area denial, and strategy elements played right on your table. Two to four players can rip through your game in 30 to 45 minutes. Hi. Hi. Thank you so much. To begin, choose a character, each of which has a unique power, and take all the pieces of that character's power. Each player has a which variety we're not of using the powers for. that come in different lengths, one to five, and include soft and sharp turn pieces. Each track piece is double-sided, allowing you to make turns to the right or left. Each player also has a shift. In the final game, this will be a full art character standing. The standee will have a slider to keep track of your current gear. For this video, we will be using a dot. You also have three prisms in your track. These are used for when you claim a prism on the table. The game also includes an initiative mark and tokens to track 1st, 2nd, 3rd, and 4th position in the turn order. Give the initiative marker to the raddest player before starting the game. Next, clear the table and place the three black prism pieces in the center of the table with some room in between them. Your play area is now set. In Laser Riders, your whole table is the play server, so playing on different tables will make for different experiences. At the beginning of the game, all players have to do the start your engines phase, during which everyone closes their eyes and counts down from 10. During the countdown, all players place their launch pad on the table edge anywhere within arm's reach, and with the other hand, choose the gear with which they'll start. 
any two players pick the same gear, they stall out due to mysterious quantum forces and have to instead start in the slowest gear. The players will take their turns from fastest to slowest. Pass out the turn order tokens to each player in order from highest to lowest gear. If two or more players are in the same gear, the next turn order token in line will be given to the player closest clockwise to the initiative marker that was passed out during setup. For example, the Phantom Cosmonaut is in 4th gear, Laser Shark is in 3rd gear, the Galactic Wave Rider is in 3rd gear, and the Super Sheriff is in 1st gear with the initiative marker. The Phantom Cosmonaut is the highest gear, so he takes the first turn order marker. Laser Shark and the Galactic Wave Rider are both in 3rd gear, which is the next highest gear on the table. Laser Shark is sitting on the Super Sheriff's left and is therefore closer to the initiative marker clockwise from the Super Sheriff than the Galactic Wave Rider. So she takes the second turn order marker. Then the Galactic Wave Rider takes the third. Lastly, since the Super Sheriff is going slowest in first gear, she takes the last available turn marker, fourth. This order may get readjusted at the beginning of each new round if people shift gears up or down. Now that we have set the turn order for this round, your turn will consist of four steps. Step one is to choose to go up a gear, down a gear, or stay in your current gear. Choose wisely, because the faster you are going, the harder it will be to turn. But go too slow, and your enemies might box you in. Step two is to choose and place a laser movement piece connected to the end of your previously placed piece. You must choose a piece from the gear you're in. The higher the gear, the longer the piece. You can always place a straight piece, but to use a curved turning piece, you have to roll a die once and try to match your current gear or higher. If you roll a six, your turn is successful, but you spin out and must shift down to first gear after making your turn. Step three is scoring prisms. Check to see if your laser piece has gone through any prisms on your table, even your opponent's prisms. If so, switch that prism out for one that is your color. If you scored a black prism, place your color prism on the end of your laser and the black prism to the player to your right. They toss the removed black prism back onto the field from behind the table edge. The final step is to check for crashing. See if your latest laser piece is touching any of your opponents or your own lasers but not prisms. If so, you have crashed, and you must remove all of your laser pieces from the table and all of your opponent's laser pieces from the point of impact back to their launch point. Don't worry, it's only a minor setback, as you'll start from the table edge at the beginning of the next round. And once all players have taken their turns, a new round begins by passing the initiative marker to the player to the left. Any players that crashed must now do the start your engines phase once again amongst themselves to come back onto the table, after which the round proceeds as before. Each rider also has a powerful special character ability that may be used during the game and recharges only when a prisoner is Ignore! <laughs> Always remember to keep these in mind as you plot your path to victory. Once three prisms on the table are your color, you harness the galactic energy and can blast off to continue your quest through space. Congratulations, you have won the game and are truly the most awesome laser rider. Get three prisms. Because once you get a prism, your prism goes on, then somebody tosses another one on the board. So you just keep getting prisms. All right, and that was Laser Riders. So, yeah, we're going to play some Laser Riders now. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Super radical this game looks awesome. Uh, yeah, it, uh, it's very much Tron meets Formula D. That yeah. was a yeah, really it, good yeah. way to describe this game. Yeah, I'm I'm super excited to watch you guys play it. Me and Becky have played it once, uh, and we did a quick demo of it just right before we did this because we just got the print and play cut out. Uh, but yeah, you guys are set up. So thank you to Cardboard Fortress for sponsoring and, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and giving us this game before it's out. So this is a brand new game. I hope you guys enjoy it. Yeah. Uh, guess logo. I, I will move to the. The arena! While I change over the Cardboard Fortress laser... You're going over there. You, Paul... Uh, I gotta recenter the board game camera. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, let me swap over the mic. Alright, so this is Clyde. 
Alright, so. Woo-hoo. We're doing it live, alright. So play in PlayStation. Alright, so. Okay, uh, Alright, hey, Noah here. I will be the Blues. Uh, Becca from Legend of the Interwebs, and I will be purple. Well, slide Which is also very much like blue, but it's not, so purple. Um, I, I'm Paul, and I'm white. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I'm also okay. playing as white. Okay. Yes. I feel like this is going to get in the way of laser riding. No, this is, it's just a laser obstacle. No, okay. That's the... Yeah, if we crash into that, does so it where's, where's my ship? Yeah. Sadly, we don't have a ship. Your dice on the end is just going to be... Wow. Okay. I know. We're doing for now. Yep. We're going to yes. play some laser riders. We definitely yeah. want. I was definitely going to say, I, I'm very happy for this. I'm having a nice salad that I got from Walmart. Yeah. you got to keep fueling the baby. Yes. It's the only way to go. So. All right, so oh my gosh, thing. there are so many pieces. Yeah, well. So do we just put them all by number? So these are going to be our, our ships. Our, Basically. Yes. You're also yeah. gonna you're also gonna keep it so like if I'm in first gear. Right, right. I'm in first gear. Well, um now that there are only five gears, it's just like the being six number. Yes. Okay. Uh like it said, if you roll a six when you're trying to turn, you will spin out. But you're yeah. successful. So the idea is like if I'm in second gear, I have to get a two or a right, so I'll probably make yes. if I'm in fifth gear and I turn. I've got this one. Yes, it is hard. But boy, are you going fast. And it, yeah. Um, if you do, if you don't successfully turn, you go straight as fast as your gear takes. So, <laughs> I, if you run into people who are off the board. Yeah, if you run off the board, that's also dead. So if you're like running this way, and you're like, oh, if I turn, it'll be fine. And you're like, five off the edge. space <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> As it's known to do. So, so we're just putting it up against the like, side of the zero. Yeah, it's, you know, like in front of you. Oh, so you get a little power launch. Uh, yeah, so you get, I, we have two of them, but uh, you only need one. Yeah, there's a it's little, just the launch. There's a little piece to start. Are you ready? Yeah, so just that little guy. Uh, Brian, this looks okay. Where my hands are and stuff like. Yeah. Uh, you're a little bit far off. I was going to say, I can't see how we're doing. How are we on sound? Do we need to turn down puzzle fighters? I literally just... Uh, no, okay, turn that down a little bit. Turn down a little bit. Okay. I'll just ask the chat. You're also down. limited on your movements based on your pieces, because obviously you only have like two cards, you know, two of each card, two of each straight. So if you run out, like say if I used both my fives and I was in the gear, and I wanted to go straight, I'd have to. You have to use okay. lower of the, the one you have. So if you're in fifth gear and you want to make a hard turn, you only have three. What are these? Don't worry. Don't apparently, uh, apparently the cut and play also took into uh, account if you didn't have dice, so you could cut out oh. dice. Oh. Which I guess is very nice of them, but as a person who owns board games, <laughs> I have dice. But I, I now know a good project we can do sometime. <laughs> Let's all make dice! <laughs> It'll be fun. I like it though. All right, yeah, I'm excited for this. So, um, close our eyes. So we've got black things. Uh, they're gonna go. Throw them anywhere. Yep. So, so we're gonna try to kind of make them from the distance so that they're not like. Okay. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> now they're going over here. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> my scheme. Which sometimes makes me nervous. No, uh, so yes. I, I just did that joke. I'm noticing you guys. Okay, you guys so yeah. So we, we close your eyes. We're gonna um, put on our hands. Either you know what gear you want to start in. Whether it's five, four, three, two, or one. If two people match, those people go down to one because they they run out. Because of cos- cosmic because energy. Gonna, yeah. We just watched. You. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we were all there. But otherwise, it's whoever uh, has the the most. Whoever's going to. Okay. Also, who's the rabbit? Okay. okay. If you're gonna claim it, then. Say that you're the rabbit. I didn't claim. I just looked at you all, and then you gave it to me. 
I, I think that proves how rad I am.